Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. At the last Pike County Fiscal Court meeting, Alliance Coal, who operates a coal mine at Scott's Branch, asked the court for a local tax credit in the form of reducing the amount of occupational tax they have to pay. According to Deputy Pike County Judge Executive Herbie Deskins, in order for Alliance Coal to get a similar break from the state, the county has to do the same. The Kentucky Industrial Revitalization Act requires the, that if there is a county that has an occupational tax, they require it, that they participate along with the state uh, in order for, to make them eligible uh, for the funds from the state. Representatives from the coal company say the tax breaks will allow them to continue operating the Pike County mine for an additional 10 to 15 years and continue to employ around 200 miners. But the decision is one the Pike County Fiscal Court is not taking lightly. Well, they've got us between a rock and a hard place. You know, you, you need, uh, need the jobs and we need them desperately. So we'll just have to weigh what it is uh, that, that they're offering against what it's going to cost us and let the fiscal court decide. Alliance Coal hopes to expand their operation to mine new coal reserves in the Scotts Branch area. Deskin says even though the Kentucky Industrial Revitalization Act is currently forcing them to make a hard decision, the overall plan will help keep Pike Countyans employed. It's one step that Kentucky's taken to try to revitalize the, the, an existing coal uh, business and keeping them where they are not letting them move out. The Pike County Fiscal Court will discuss ideas with Alliance Coal at Tuesday's meeting and hopefully vote on how to proceed. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.